Steve Jones here with our favorite interviewee, Andrew Veer. Andrew. Good afternoon, Steve. Evening. Oh, right. Whatever. <laughs> so, listen, I understand that, uh, you know, your, your service on a number of committees at ICPI is coming to an end. Um, yes, actually. Um, I think I've been doing this. Actually, I joined the ICPI when it uh, first started, which is, I think, 19 years ago now. So, um, yes, I have been there, done that. Got the <laughs> you got the t-shirt. Yeah, we sent them to you. Don't yeah, we? thanks. <laughs> Well, what can you comment on your service to the industry through um, ICPI? Well, through ICPI, I mean, it's, um, you know, when we, when we initially got started, we were, you know, the CPI, and then it broke off, and we, um, and it became the uh, ICPI. I think um, it's been invaluable what we've been able to, um, as contractors, uh, to, to get from the industry with regards to um, uh, being, being able to be qualified, um, getting great instructors, some classes, education and and that really it sums up why I joined the ICPI was um, for education and how we can you know expand in this country um, growth because without education there won't be growth what we'll, we'll just keep doing the, the same thing over and over again and so uh, getting past some of the cultural differences that we have with Europe and um, the amount of pavers that are going in the ground that's that's really what we're trying to do here is just keep moving forward and, and keep trying to in increase our volumes every year. Content always seems to be a bit of an issue, um, finding the right content, creating the correct content, especially in a, in a committee um, atmosphere. Right. Well, you know, uh, with a committee, a camel is a horse designed by committee, right? So, um, <laughs> I've got know, some other camel jokes. Okay. <laughs> so it's, essentially, it, it is difficult, and it, and, and it is difficult to get everybody to agree on which direction we're going in, and, and sometimes... Uh, there is a challenge uh, between producers and contractors. Um, it's almost like in a corporation where you have sales and production. Sometimes they're they're fighting each other, and and um, and and sometimes we don't always agree. So a committee, we you know, as contractors, we we really do try and get our voice uh, heard with the ICPI. In a lot of cases, we do. In some cases, we don't. So um, as long as we keep at it and, and keep um, keep pushing forward. Um, I think that the benefits are still there for the contractor, but we, we still have to keep working on that. That's true. That's true. And, uh, well, hopefully there will be some, some people to take your place at, at some of these committees. Um, there's plenty of people coming up behind me. <laughs> Absolutely. Where are they? <laughs> they're, 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 <laughs> they're somewhere. They're coming sure. in. Well, that's um, great. But it is a commitment. You know, uh, being on, on, on committees and uh, means that you do come to these programs, and it is a travel commitment and um, of time. And everyone's trying to pull back and, and watch their pockets right now, but it, it really, really is worth it. I, I've seen the difference for us as an organization on, on how we're recognized around the country. We do jobs all around the country, and, and being part of a national organization uh, makes us you know, look a lot better. And we certainly get, to get input from when we go to different parts of the country. We meet people and see some of the, the different dynamic conditions that you have in, in different parts of a very large country. Mm -hmm. Well, that's true, and you're involved in, in mechanical installation, so <clears throat> where is your company as far as involved? Are you involved in residential at all? Um, yeah, we, we, do, um, we do a lot of residential. We're doing, uh, you know, we do a lot of track homes. Um, we're seeing that pick up uh, quite a lot lately in, uh, you know, Phoenix, Las Vegas. Um, those areas are definitely, we're starting to see a breakout there with track home development. There's actually uh, a shortage of uh, housing inventory right now. So uh, well, that's a we're good thing to hear of. It's been a while filling that up with new construction. So that's that's great. Banks are holding on to properties. It seems uh, artificially. I don't know why that is, but um, that helps the new construction industry because they just we're just really starting to get going again now. And your commercial work. I mean, uh, mechanical installation. You own our equipment to do mechanical installation, and we love you for that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Um, but how's the mechanical business? I mean, the large projects, the large yeah, commercial industrial. Those are the long cast projects. Yeah. So you know, when you when you're bidding on those projects, sometimes sometimes they uh, take a year or eighteen months to come to fruition. So you have to be patient. You know, if you can, we do both. We do residential and commercial. So the residential keeps everything going. The bills keep getting uh, getting paid, hopefully, and then we'll. Tran transition into a, a commercial project which might be one or two or three months. Some of these projects are um, take a very long time. We uh, just finished a, a large project in San Diego 
um, that, that literally took us five months. Uh, even having crews there every day, it was, it was a large project. Big so, project. Yeah. But what about to, what's in the pipeline? Because I know you have to bid these things way out in advance. Uh -huh. What's in the pipeline? Um, we the have. Truth. The truth. <laughs> I can't tell you the truth. Well, you have to. <laughs> so <laughs> we're we, talking to the uh, internet here. Yeah. So we have. We do have some mechanical work coming up. Um, so, well, one project is about two hundred fifty thousand feet. Um, and again, we're continuing to push for specifications. Uh, I'm giving a, a mechanical uh, installation seminar uh, in Cupertino uh, coming up next month. And so those are some of the things that we do as, as a contractor to, um, to, to get more people involved with mechanical placement of pavers, especially as you have more projects that are now prevailing wage or union. Um, that, that's where the machine really does start to pay for itself when you're when you're on a, a government project. When you're forced on a on a real labor project, you that's when it really comes and pays back. Right, for sure. Very many times over. It's not just one time or two times. It's it's three or four times how much you gain um, with that. And and when you get a project that's four or five acres of pavers, you do not want to lay that manually. No, you, know, you need no. mechanical installation. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Well, that's great. Well, what else is exciting in, in your world? Um, in my world? That you can tell me. <laughs> well, you know what? There's new products that are being developed all the time. There's new tools uh, from Probes, of course. Um, and those are some of the neat things and why, why we have an industry is so that we can see these uh, new tools that are coming out. Every time we get a new tool, it increases our efficiency. Um, and increasing efficiency means increasing the bottom line. If, uh, if it can help save time, money, and effort, then it's a, a winning situation all around. So uh, we have to get rid of some of the Luddite mentality that we have right now, which is uh, against mechanical installation and just throwing 30 guys on a, on a project. And you know, I think slowly we're starting to pull away from that, but um, we just need to keep pushing forward with the message. That labor component is something that um, is something we really ha people have to learn to deal with. And, I, and, I, and I, I struggle with this sometimes when I talk to my customers, those that don't quite understand it yet, mm -hmm. that um, by them just throwing labor at something. They're not building anything for the future, they're just getting by. Mm -hmm. And by getting by, there's no growth. So you may have got the job, you may have made a couple of bucks. At the end of the day, your company is no further ahead than when you started. Right, you can, you know, everybody, you can have a lot of guys digging a ditch, but then when somebody arrives with a backhoe, nobody wants to dig that ditch anymore. Um, with mechanical assistance, with, with new tools and equipment, we are investing in the future. And that's the, the only way that we're going to catch up with Europe. Um, and the other thing too is safety. It's a lot safer to install mechanically than it is having a lot of repetitious motion. Um, OSHA uh, is very expensive. They're on they're on job sites, and if you can if you can cut the amount of of, of employees on a job site from thirty to six, the chances of you having an accident really do come down a lot more. The chances of any type of like I said, uh, re repeat motion injury, and, and that's really where the challenge is right now. Uh, when you're dealing with four inch, uh, 100 millimeter thick pavers, oh, absolutely. It's, it's really tough on the wrists. So yep. we're seeing that a lot more, and, and I think uh, that's the way the industry has to keep going. We, you know, with the, with the slowdown, um, we saw it pull back, but now we're starting it to go forward again. So that's really good. Well, Andrew, again, I want to thank you for all your work thank at you. ICPI and for our industry, mm -hmm. and uh, it's always been a been nice to be your friend. Thank and you very much, Steve. Don't forget to tell everybody that we have our last classes of the season at the School for Advanced Segmental Paving coming up here in a couple of weeks up in Franksville, Wisconsin, where it's going to be cold outside, mm. warm inside. But it's the place to be. <laughs> this is Steve Jones and Andrew Veer, Hardscape Channel, signing off. Thank you.